Hey there guys and welcome back to Circuit Breaker for Stage 7 where we are at Silverstone. This is called The Finale. This is the final stage where we are going to be earning the IDR. Great news! We've got the financial support and enough top tier drivers on side to stage our own competition here on Silverstone. We're going to be racing an all IDR tournament. We invited some of the best electric car drivers around the world as all of the previous lap record holders you defeated. Also, the winner of this race gets a Volkswagen IDR for their own personal collection. Let's see who wins when the playing field is fair and square. I can't wait, I am desperate to add this car to my collection. Good luck everyone, have fun. Target P7 without damaging your vehicle or going off track. Now, for this stage, we're going to need to apply Stage 3 upgrades for Engine and Drive Train. Uh, that'll be for later, but for now, we need to place in 7th, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. Well, at least once you've gotten used to the car on this track. Now, this is the bridge circuit, so make sure to, to turn left here to go flat out through here. And through here, which you can do in other cars anyway. Uh, for this corner here, you're going to need to do a little bit of braking and go around the outside of Mark, but... Unfortunately you can't, but I'll go around the outside on this next corner. Now the difference with this stage is that the other cars are IDRs as well, so... Pretty much a level pegging field, except for the fact that the other cars are uh, much more upgraded than you are. The recommended PR for this is much higher than we are using right now, but we've got to use... Uh, our performance above the AI to uh, get through this. So, we're catching up to Tim. Uh, this We're going to break here. Normally, uh, you would break like just before the wall on the left-hand side, but uh, I had to break earlier because I was taking the inside line. Flat through here, and we're going to catch with, with Bruno. Alright, flat through here, and break there, okay, so in total there are, uh, one, two, two breaking points, if memory serves me correctly, which it probably doesn't. Anyway, let's not concentrate on that, let's catch up to Eric! Wow, you can go flat out through there. I guess I was trying to cut it too tight. Anyway, you can see that Eric is 200 yards ahead, but they just go way too slowly through this corner. Uh, you could definitely cut that a lot more than I did. Uh, okay, we'll definitely get Eric after this corner, but, oh, wow, let's get a, let's get a slow motion of that, ow, oh, the thing I love about recording in 60fps uh, now is that when I do slow motion replays, it's just a lot smoother, uh, that was at half speed, so that would have been 30fps, anyway, uh, gotta let Eric catch up a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, talking about that, um, yeah, I'm recording at 60 FPS, but I'm actually playing in 120 FPS because, uh, my new phone supports, well, it has a 120 hertz display. So, yeah, pretty cool. I feel giddy. Feels like we're skiing. Also, Zoe, look out, the champ just overtook me. Roger that, I know, it's like we're climbing on air. You got a long way to go to catch up to me. Target P5 and draft 2,187 yards without going off track. Now, before I show you the attempt that I uh, completed the task on, I'm going to show you this from one of my failed attempts. Look at what happens here. Uh, oh, I get pushed off by Zoe and I was in the wall. I'm trying to accelerate out, and it just teleports me back on track. 
It's pretty insane. Let's see that crash in slow motion, because I love my slow motion crashes. So, as you see, I'm going up to Zoe, and then she just hunts me off, and then I just clip through the wall and get stuck in it, which is pretty funny. So let's have a closer look at this, and yeah, that's probably not good for the car. Anyway, let's actually get onto the attempt where I completed the goal. So, we've got to go up to fifth and get some drafting in. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So, uh, remember we are on 223111 upgrades right now. Because uh, at this point in time, I'm still uh, waiting for the uh, stage 3 upgrades to come in. But I'm going to have to watch ads for those later on to speed up the process. Anyway, there we go. That was better, but not as good as it could have been. And uh, now we go flat out through here, which is incredible. Right. Catching up to Chloe now, who we will follow onto the straight, and we can get a draft off of her. And we're actually keeping up pretty well. And there we go, we've got all our drafting in, so we don't have to worry about that later on. Uh, so just checking what position I need to be in, I think. Which is fifth. Hooking on to the slipstream to try and get the most speed I can on the straight. Which is kind of the IDR's weak point, but every car's an IDR here, so that doesn't really matter. There you go, through there, down the inside of Chloe. Uh, easy job right there. And now we've got our work cut out to catch up to fifth. Lakes. Okay, yep, we can see Zoe now, 300 yards away. So, she's going to keep on getting away from us until we get to, like, the second half of the track, where there are a lot of Tight, more tight corners where they just don't know how to handle them. Silverstone is definitely a very flat out track for these cars. Um, and believe it or not, uh, Suzuka East Circuit, which is that really, that, that short one that, that starts off like the Grand Prix Circuit, but then you like, turn right instead of left. You do not need to brake at all on that track, or even lift, which is incredible. Uh, anyway, catching up to Zoe here. This time, I'm going to try and not get pit into the wall, so instead, I will pit her as revenge. And oh, I almost got hit with a bit of karma there, but luckily I saved it. Right, letting Zoe catch up a little bit. All bot management, and there we go. That was a roller coaster. Well, it was a car. But it was hypothetically a roller coaster. The chump just shot past me, too. Watch your back, Ahmed. Thanks for the heads up. Stay back! Target P2 without skidding. More 1.5 seconds or going off track. Now, we're at Silverstone, where there are barely any uh, low-speed corners. We don't, need, we don't really need to worry about skidding. All we need to worry about is getting up to second place. But that's easy as well. Now, I took that really uh, nicely. Uh, none of that counted as off-track. You have two tyres off-track, without it counting as off-track. So getting past that car of uh, Catherine, and now we've got to catch up with 
Uh, what's that name? Oh, unpronounceable name, once again. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to say that. Anyway, we have two laps to get up into second place, which isn't an issue. As for skidding, you know, don't need to worry about it. And you know what, I'm so carefree that I'm going to go into first person. I normally actually play in first person, but when I'm using faster cars, I like to go in... Whoa! When I'm in faster cars, I like to uh, go in third person. And for some cars, like NASCARs and uh, GT4 cars, I like going on the uh, bonnet view. I don't know why, I just do. Anyway, be careful that you don't hit uh, that guy in the corners there, because otherwise you might rack up some damage, and you really don't want that. Now, if you know that you are going to be hitting someone, uh, it's a good idea to uh, stop accelerating and stop braking, or just stop whatever you're doing. Because if you hit them while you're coasting, it usually does less damage. Don't know why I blew the brakes there. I would have easily made it. Uh, maybe I was just a bit uh, panicky that I wouldn't make it, and then I'd have to do the stage again, and possibly have to service, and... You know, I'm not going to go through that. Well, I don't want to go through that. Anyway... Cutting it tight so that I can get a good line straight away from the next corner. And straight past our man. And yeah, we still have a few corners left. So yeah, that was pretty easy. And now the only person in front of us is Magnus. Oh, Magnus. So yeah, just checking the requirements. And there we go. Easy. Uh oh, I've fallen back to third place. Magnus, you're next, my friend. No! I won't lose again. This race is mine. Drive behind Magnus for 2,187 yards, then take P1 before the start of lap 2, hold P1 for the next lap, then let Magnus win without going off track. Oh, that was a man mouthful. Oh, yeah. Now, this is incredibly difficult, and... Oh. I... I... In, in, the, in the run, I actually did it. I, I stopped recording near the end of it. So I only have most of it. I'm going to show you what I have. Oh. Anyway. Get a push from Ahmed at the start here. And then, you're just going to leave him in the dust, past here. The game just decided to flash up with the EA logo for a second, and then put me on the pause screen. Don't know why, that was not edited. Anyway, we've got to catch up to Magnus. Draft behind him. And then, the take... Take first, and then give it back. It is a very weird situation that I'm in. Anyway, on to lap one. Uh, at, by this point, I had this car very optimized on this track. Not, I mean, for my standards. Like, I am not, like, the best player at all. Like, I wouldn't even consider my... Um, yeah, but I wouldn't consider myself a professional player. Let's just say that right now. I'm definitely uh, not good at maximising uh, the car's potential. Although that was pretty good. But not as good as it could have been. It's either that or I'm too much of a perfectionist. Anyway, we're going to get our, um, part of our drafting in. Uh, but we have to overtake him 
for the beginning of lap two, so uh, that's fine. We can do the rest of the drafting when we get onto lap three, and we let him pass again. I tried to do as seamless a transition as possible because I I paused for a little bit and then uh, pressed resume again, but I kind of cut between it. So anyway, we need to hold first place. Um, but then give it back on lap three. Um, however, this is when the video stops. I am very sorry, there are other videos out there that show the rest of it, uh, but unfortunately, uh, sometimes that's what happens, uh, when you make videos. It's a shame, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Yes! I did it! Victory is mine! I am the winner! I knew it! I knew I would be! Well done, Magnus! You did it! You have won your own IDR! And well done to you too, champ! Thanks to your hard work, everybody knows that when the IDR hits the track, it consistently takes the record. I silently too! And without carbon emissions! That's right, electric vehicles are vital to the direction the world is moving. It's up to all of us how fast that future gets here. Good racing, everyone! That was so much fun! Here, here. Now that we are done, you can get back to your holiday. What do you think you'll do? You're on holidays with Magnus. At 195 miles an hour to win without damaging your car. Now, you don't actually have to beat Magnus. You just have to hit at 195 miles an hour. And we are here at Mount Panorama, which you might think means that we're going to hit our top speed on the very long straight. However, that is actually not the case because there's a place where you can go faster and the only place where you can hit 195 miles an hour with just 333-111 upgrades. Now before this I did let Magnus uh, go ahead for quite a long while just so he didn't get in the way at all. Anyway, as you can see there was a scrape there. This the uh, the run where I did hit 195. Now from here, you do not lift, you do not break. Just steering input is key. And you have to do very vigorous steering input here. Look at this. That is insane. Let me play that last bit in slow motion so you can really take in how crazy that was. And there we go, that's it, that's everything, that was an insane event. And here is proof that I did it with only 333-111 upgrades, that is only 3 gold upgrades, that is insane. Just goes to show how insane this car really is, anyway, that's stage 7 complete, and uh, the rewards are 1,250 VP, 30 gold, 150,000 dollars, and the IDR itself. What a beauty. Look at that. Definitely had to take a screenshot there. Anyway. That is it. Whew. Now, please tell me in the comments if you did like this series, or if, you, if this even helped you get your very own IDR in Real Racing 3. Uh, that would be very cool. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this entire series. If you did like it, please do hit like, uh, and if, it, if you found it helpful, uh, subscribe for more Real Racing 3 content and other stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.